Trying to wake up here at bird 30 in the morning. It's 4 30 in the morning. And we're gonna see what it's really like to study bird migration. Studying bird migration. Today we're here to study the migration in egrets. And basically, there are two fundamental ways that you could do that. The first, sometimes known as the Eulerian method, researchers would sit in one spot and record the birds that fly overhead. But in that method, you don't really know much about any one bird because you're just sitting in one spot. In contrast, what's known as the Langrangian method, you might find a way to track individual birds. And today, we're gonna show you exactly what goes into research like this. It's raining and it's dark, but it's morning time, so we gotta get out there and set the traps. So when an animal walks by and steps on this, it closes on their hand like that. And then uh, we've got the eager caught by the foot. We're gonna set them all around the bin with the fish and hopefully we'll get an egret to step right on one of these. This is the bait here. It's a couple uh, bins full of fish. Some minnows that uh, John caught yesterday. Some of them are alive, some of them are floating. And we're laying a minefield basically of traps around their food source. And then what we're going to do is put egret decoys in the area. The egret decoys will bring them in. These are actually pink flamingos that John's painted white, added a yellow bill. The idea is that these birds are social and they cue off each other for information about where the fish are at any moment in time. So if they're flying around overhead and they see a bunch of white birds sitting together in a lake, they think, hey, those birds found a lot of fish. I'm gonna go down there and check that out. You have to outwit them. And that can be harder than you think. Now we wait. We could be sitting in this van for hours. Fortunately today, we didn't actually have to wait that long. The birds just started showing up. Some snowy egrets, a glossy ibis, a tricolored aran, cattle egret, and finally a little blue took the bait. Now is the most critical time. John, do you wanna? For the bird's safety, we need to get it out of the trap quickly. Fortunately, John is a pro. Upon releasing the bird, we start by taking some measurements. Weight, length of the legs, the bill, etc. Then we put a small band on it. Now it's ready to be released. And we did the same with a snowy egret. You see, these birds are tiny and thus the little leg bands are used. Traditionally, this is how all migration research was done. If someone finds the bird in the future, maybe on the other side of the country, you'll know where it went. Problem is, you really only know the starting point and the ending point. The path that the bird took could be really complex. And that's where the most high-tech tags come in, these high-tech GPS tags. But right now, these GPS tags are big, so you need a big bird to carry it, like the great egret. In fact, they're one of the largest egrets in the world. And, well, let's say a formidable bird to put a tracker on. This here is why you work with professionals. You okay? Professionals that wear protective eyeglasses, that is. With a few ties, we're able to secure the GPS tracker and set the bird on its way. And off he goes to help tell the story of the egrets. So we just put one of these tags on a bird, and the next step is that the bird goes and does whatever the bird does, and that's what we want to learn about. From here, we can map each bird's route, which is pretty awesome. And as you can see here, the last bird they caught in North Carolina is now sitting on the top of Niagara Falls. Awesome. And you can follow it too, because we're putting this data out there on the web for everyone to look at. And if it happens to come to your neighborhood, you can go find the bird, about it, tweet about it using the hashtag from the bird, and, uh, and send us a picture if you can, so that we can learn what kind of behaviors it's doing in these different areas, who it's hanging out with, if it's a social bird. You can help us tell the story of the bird. 